Okay. All right, welcome back to Resale Therapy. I'm Kidlet, and that was a bad start. Welcome back to Resale Therapy. My name is Kidlet or Tracy, and this is a haul video that uh, is going to accumulate quite or include. That's a better word. It's going to include several, a couple of shop along with me's and a couple trips that I did without a shop along with me because y'all, my anxieties have been just way too high for the people in today's society. Like without getting into stuff happening now we all know what's going on it's just been a little crazy so i did do a really poor shop along with me today and i was gonna include what i got because i only got one thing well i got two things i got a pizza pan <laughs> Whoopee. and then i got this but uh, i i misspoke so i got rid of it out of the video so this uh what it is it was two dollars and it is a Native American totem pole made in, I believe that says 68 or 69 or 65. That might be 65. Mm -hmm. I have my, my daughter with me. Mm -hmm. um, Peggy Gator Gal. She's got her own si uh, pick yeah, 65. channel, yeah, 65. which she does so much better than I do. Um, it looks like it says seven something and then it says $10. And I wish I could read it, but it says purchase something, something, something. And then it says genuine Indian made. That tells you the times, right? Yeah, and when I was in the car, I was so flustered by the anxieties. I said it was made in Mexico by Indians. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, that was horrible. No, it wasn't made in Mexico. It was made here in the U.S., and we don't call them Indians anymore. They are Native Americans because they were here first. Okay. So, yeah, I love this. Look at them. They're amazing. The detail on this thing. And then there's a frog on the bottom. I and love the this. Wings. I, oh, yeah. And then the wings, which is collapsible for storage. storage. Yeah. The coolest part about that. Look how the detail is just... Mm -hmm. I love it. It's, it's love collapsible it. that way so you don't so they don't break while you're storing them. She didn't want to be on camera. She's on the side. It's all good. So um that same store but a different shop trip um in which I didn't get much of anything but um so I didn't record it was this gorgeous Fitz and Floyd. I have it upside down. Not that it matters, but isn't that pretty pomegranates? It does oh it's hanging off the tree. Yeah. That's why they're hanging down. Because if you see on the back, there's the hanger and all that. And it does have a tiny chip in the leaf, but I couldn't pass it up. Even even if I keep it. It's gorgeous. I mean, come on now. And, I don't know, I have this uh, radar for Fitz and Floyd. For good or bad. And, and I love it. I love the stuff. I'm a Fitz and Floyd fan. I don't know. Okay, so that is from two different trips where I only got one thing. Although I may have gotten this when I got these. I'm keeping these, though. They're, um, what do you call these again? I don't remember, but we have one in the dining room. Yeah, um, I'm, like, holding to... it down below the camera. That That's great. But, yeah, you're supposed to meditate and move them. Without making them ring? Yeah, I heard that, but I don't know. But wouldn't you want to hear the ring and the meditate? Yeah. So yeah, it's it's busted in the box and I think we're going to keep it because I have one and I've always been looking for a second one and then I found two. So mm -hmm. That's mine. <clears throat> Speaking of mine, do you like my mascot right there? That is too thick. It is. Okay. <laughs> um, there's two shops, two Goodwill on here and I know one I caught on camera I don't know about the second one and then I have some loose bits that I don't know where they came into the I'm a mess I need to start documenting everything so I really don't know where I picked this up but 
I had one of these as a kid. I don't think it was a rabbit, and I don't know if I showed you or not. And yes, it came with the, the pins in it. So there is that. Um, I believe it was at Goodwill, because I don't think I've gone to St. Vincent's lately, and I don't believe they would have had it like this at the mom and pop. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not, but it brought back memories. It's from the late 70s, early 80s. And then there was this beautiful bowl that I don't know if I've showed you this either, but it's just art glass. It's got a foggy bottom, but it's beautiful. And I've tried taking pictures, um, but it, it just doesn't show how pretty it is. So I'm just going to have to keep trying to like nail it. But yeah. Okay. And I don't know the price on that one. So this is all Salvation Army, and this, I believe, was in the hall. I'm going to grab those two boxes over there. Okay. I think this is in the last haul I posted. Yeah. So, um, this is the little Idaho potato. Ooh, that ring light's really bright. There we go. The Idaho potato toothpick holder. Now, um, there's been a lot of those ceramic potatoes floating around, and there's been bigger ones for gravy, and I'm I guess the little ones were mashed potatoes. I mean, it would make sense. Um, and why you would need toothpicks for your mashed potatoes, I don't know. But if someone's collecting the set, and it says Idaho. So, yeah. And it was $0.29. Cents. Um, our Goodwills, they do this little quick dash when it's going to be just that price. And usually it's for baseline for cups and mugs. This was $2.49, and I have yet to see until now this pink milk glass. This ring light's great for my face, not so great for the products. Look at that. Yeah, it's a nice pink color. I'm trying to get some of the light in it. See, uh, yeah, you can see it. Um, but it's got the grapevine, and it's just a little creamer. I don't know how much. I didn't research any of this. It's like just, a baby pink. If you like think. a baby pink, like a pastel baby pink. Um, I haven't researched any of these yet. They've been sitting waiting for a haul. I think I did research a couple of things I lost. Then I got this mug, it's by Nailer, and I swear I know that I've come across stuff by Nailer before, um, and it says catnip, it's got this crazy cat on it. You know, it makes me think of one of the artists and that did one of the books you guys have had as a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into that to see, because, yeah, it looks very familiar. The art style. Yeah, the art style. And I, I've been doing pretty good with mugs lately. I think it's a changing of the seasons. People are preparing for warm drinks and beverages. Yep. This one's so great. Yeah. Oh, goodness. That's so this is so amazing. <laughs> and in the video, there's um the haul video, or not the haul video, the shop along with me video. There's a gentleman that came up and said, I did great with this, that he'd come back to get this, but he was glad I had it. And then the person that was uh, checking me out said that this was a great catch. And if she had seen it, she would have snagged it. So it's great plate. It's a piggy. A bowl serving dish. It's got the artist's little initials in it. And it was four fifty, so yeah, no chips or cracks. It's great looking. It's a piggy. Yeah, it's a piggy. Now I, I could kick myself even today about that refrigerator dish, but when I went back the day day a few days after it was gone, but then this last trip I found a lid just like the lid to that box, but no box in sight, and it's in good condition. And I have seen people post. It almost looks like it's a chip that got uh, filed down. I don't know. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera. Yeah, it looks like there was a chip, and then it was filed down so it was still safe to use. I just noticed that. Hmm, interesting. Huh. But it's not sharp. It is still vintage, and maybe somebody wants it for their box. And if not, it could be... A tray or something but it's cute it is very, it's very cute so yeah. we'll see or maybe I'll wait until I find the box again I did look these up in the store before I grabbed them they are by uh, Enid Hibble or Edna sorry Edna Hibble I think Edna moved Edna what 
Edna Mode. I don't know what Edna Mode is. From, from Incredibles. Darling. Darling. <laughs> so. No capes. <laughs> these plates I would not pick up if they were by themselves. Um, <laughs> they're a little gaudy. Uh, but they're in fabulous condition. Um, oh, gold details in these. Uh, lots of gold details. But the reason I did grab them is because they came with their boxes. And their certificates. And their certificate of authenticity. Making them easy to sell. Yes, yes. Now, this one does have damage to the box, but... Mm -hmm. um, but the rest of it is in good condition. Yeah, the rest yeah. of it's in good condition, including the plate. So there this is that. This could go up for Christmas time. Yes, yeah, so because they're Christmas plates. Yeah. And here is the other one. And they're marked that tr somebody tried to sell them for $45 at one point. They weren't that high online. But um, I figured for 5 bucks it was worth a grab, especially with Christmas. And you never know. You never know. It, someone who needs them to complete their collection. And they, they're they still selling. So mm -hmm. Okay. We lost Technical you difficulties. <laughs> yeah, we kind of lost you there for a second. This light is so bright. I don't know. Is it better? Is it worse? Let me know. I can't tell. I and we're back again. Okay. Yeah. This next one is a Wedgwood mug and it has hunters on it. Um, but the reason I grabbed it is the dog on the handle. Like he's looking up the tree to find the fox that they're searching for. Uh, Crazy Lamp Lady had one similar to this, but I believe the fox was on the handle. Uh, I won't lie, it's part of the reason why I grabbed it, because it made me think of her. And then I looked at the bottom and saw that it was Wedgwood, so I think it's just so pretty. Okay, so there's that. Again, no comps, I haven't looked at any of these. Ooh, turkey! Turkey! Gobble, gobble! <laughs> it's a turkey. I'm glad I got the ring light. It's starting to get dark like it's going to rain. Wouldn't that be nice being in California? You going to poke your head all the way in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the turkey. I was just trying to see if it is cloudy outside. I can't tell. So this is a, a planter and it's got a really funky frog in it. It's not a good frog. It's a synthetic foam, plastic, whatever, crumbly frog um and there's the turkey's butt <laughs> but there's no chips or cracks he's in great condition um it says 232 usa on it so i'm gonna have to look into that I need a frog. um oh yeah okay so a frog is a thing that holds uh, flowers in place uh -huh. when you're doing a a, a, a bouquet or, ring or arrangement uh -huh. keeps them positioned mm -hmm. um and the oh, nicer it ones like bad. That looks real icky. yeah yeah um so the nicer ones you can get old metal ones mm -hmm. and there's like uh, old plastic ones yeah, I just tossed that and that was a nasty crumbly foam styrofoam one yeah, that's a word I was looking for. But yeah, gobble gobble. Mm. I can imagine him on someone's table, maybe even with uh, rolled up forks and knives in it. Mm -hmm. And then a plant, maybe. Yeah, he's in good condition. I liked it. So I grabbed this book. It's uh, Kleben. Bill Kleben. He did a lot of cat things. This book in particular my mom had when I was a kid and it was so disturbing in multiple ways it's just yeah there's like nude people in it i <laughs> can't show that anyway. on youtube even though it's an illustration you can't show that on i can't YouTube. get demonetized because i don't have enough people to be monetized but you know i still why keep doing this yeah why why go there all right i feel another mug oh yay okay so this is a set that i found five cups two and a little pitcher yeah the pitcher's not really big it's a little big to be a creamer but it's really tiny mm. so it, it could be a creamer but it was 149 um it's yeah it's probably a creamer now that i'm looking at the sizes of it but still it's 
cute. Yeah, okay, and the name I couldn't pick up in the video, Buttercup Federalist Iron Stone Made in Japan Dishwasher Safe Oven Safe White. Oh, supplies, I guess, maybe. I'm like, why would you stick a mug in the oven? But, yeah, so I guess that's the creamer. I don't know. Stick a mug in the oven so you can make some mug burnies. Mug burnies. Okay. And so, like I said, I got five of these. And they were 29 cents a piece, and the little mug creamer was only $1.49, which is a great price for Goodwill because usually when they're anything of value, they raise them up as high as like $7, which is insane. So there was the creamer, and then there were six of these mugs, and one on the shelf was badly damaged, so I didn't take it. And I'm like, I guess I'll take five. So then I ran the corner, and there in the plate aisle is... Yeah, but instead of being 29 cents, the set of the two were three. So how much did I pay for this plate? But I did it so that I would have six of these instead of five or four. Um, and then I went up to, when I went to the register, realized another one was broken. So I ended up grabbing, I think it was the one with the plate. So I grabbed another one that I saw real fast. So kind of thankful they separated them. And how many of these were there to begin with? Maybe eight? No, that makes sense. Okay. So yeah, so now I have an odd set with a creamer, a plate. I guess I could do, I guess I could do that. It's nice. Yeah, and then uh, six cups. So mm -hmm. I'll put them all together and see how it goes. All right, so now is stuff from another shopping trip to Goodwill that I may or may not have caught on camera. Oh, you know what? That just reminded me. These are from the outlet. So you know what? I'm going to stop this. We're going to do a second one on this so I can label it properly. So thank you for tuning in. Tune in on the next one where I will do a haul video from the Goodwill Outlet bins. Bye! Hey, you. Yeah, you. Did you see that bolo? If not, go back and check it out. It was a doozy. Oh, and I'm warning you now, at the end of this black strip, there's some bloopers, so you can turn it off now and save me my embarrassment. Yeah, or or not. What? My dentist were eating yard gnomes. It's a yard, little yard decoration you put out in the yard, and it's just a dentist were eating gnomes. Well, okay, so when you take the birds out of the yard, make sure you check for yard gnomes and dinosaurs. <laughs> we don't have a yard dinosaur. We don't have a yard dinosaur. You have a yard gnome sitting on a frog, though. Okay. <laughs> Just don't pull the fairy house. Out. I want to do this and get it over with, Mom. So. <laughs> oh. I'm going to start. That's nice. With or without you. <laughs> with or without you, baby. <laughs> you know I'm Are you going to go check your laundry first? Is it in the dryer? Yeah. Nothing! <laughs> yeah, so that just all happened. I'm waiting for my assistant to come back and for my mother to stop yelling and my youngest to come in and get her laundry because this is my life! Insanity.